so we have the Kramers rule, assuming we have equations, so we have equation 1, equation 2, and equation number 3. So we have three equations here. Now we have equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. The Kramers rule states that when you want to find the value of x, it is found by dx over d, uh, that is the determinant, then the determinant uh, with respect to y, then the determinant, then the determinant with respect to z, then the determinant. How do you get the determinant? So the determinant of these matrix, uh, of these um, 3 by 3 on this side, on the left hand side, is gotten by extracting the constants that are here. So in our case here, we have a11, a21, uh, a12, and uh, a13. This term, this term, and this term, this term, this term, and this term. So that gives you our D. So that is our D. Then you come to our DX. Now, what you do in Kramer's rule, in where you have the values of X, the constant value of X, you replace them with the constant term on the right hand side. So where you had uh, A11, A21, and A31, the DX is now found by replacing these terms here to come in this position. So you shall have B1, B2, uh, then B3. Then you have the terms of Y remaining, and you have the terms of Z doing what? Doing uh, remaining also. Then our D, Y, uh, the same process uh, uh, happens. Where you have the constant terms of Y, replace them with B1, B2, and B3. The constant terms of X remain, and the constant sum of uh, Z also, also remain. Then also for our DZ, you have the constant of, uh, terms of x remaining, you have the constant terms of y remaining, then replace the values that were here in z. Replace the values of z with b1, b2, and b3. So you should find your root, your determinant with respect to z. Now, then after getting the values, then you come and replace. So whatever you shall get in dx, uh, so if you have dx, then you divide by d. Then you have dy divided by d, then you have dz divided by what? Divide by d. So that is how you work out uh, three, uh, three unknowns using the Kramer's rule. So let us take an example and see how this is done. So we have an equation there, x plus y plus z equals to 4, 2x plus uh, negative over 2y plus 4z equals to 33. And you have the third equation, so you can say this is equation 1. This is equation 2, and this one is equation number, number 3. Now, so, solution. Now, when you have three equations of three unknowns, then the first thing you do is extract uh, the constants of this equation and write them in matrix form. So we have a constant here to be 1, or we have 1 here. So we have 1, we have 1, then we have 1. We have 2, negative 3, we have 4 here, we have 3, we have negative 2, negative 2. So we have our matrix, so we write them in matrix form. Then we have our value of x, our value of y, and our value of z is given by 4, 33, and what? 4, 33, and 2. So in matrix form, these three equations can be written in this form. Now, so remember, using the Kramer's rule, we know our x is found by finding our dx over d, our y is found by dy over y, over d, sorry. Then we have our z is given by dz over d. So therefore, we need to find the dx, dy, dz, and also find uh, the general determinant. So we shall start with our general determinant, d, so which will be given by the determinant of this matrix here. So 1, 1, and 1, 2, negative 3, and 4, then you have 3, negative of 2, and you have negative of 2. So we have that matrix there. So we know how to find the determinants. You take the first term here, the first element, so B is given by 1. Then you find the determinant of the two, uh, by two matrix formed by, uh, when you close this column and this row, so you close the column in which the term appears or the element appears, so you close it, that's the column, and this row, so you're doing this matrix here. So you have negative 3, you have 4, you have negative of 2 and negative of 2, then you have negative 1, the term here is always negative, 
Then close this term, add this column in this row. You have 2, you have 4, you have 3, you have negative of 2, and then you have positive of 1. Then close this and this, you have 2, you have negative of 3, you have 3, you have negative of, you have the negative of 2. Therefore, the determinants therefore is given by 1 into brackets equals 2. Uh, now, the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is formed by multiplying the terms in the main uh, diagonal, then subtract uh, the terms in the other diagonal and multiply them. So we have 2 times negative 3, that gives us 6. Then you have uh, subtract. So we are supposed to subtract negative 2 times 4, which gives us negative of 8. But we have a negative here, so therefore we shall have um, a positive of 8. Then we have negative of 1. Uh, this time this gives you negative of 4. Then you subtract 3 times 4, that is what? 12. Then plus 1. Uh, then you have this time this gives you negative of 4. Then subtract. Uh, 3 times negative of 3 gives you negative of 9. But you have a negative here, so this one becomes what? Positive. Positive of 9. Therefore we shall have 6 plus 8 gives us 14. 14 times 1 is just 14. Then we have negative 4, uh, negative 12 gives us negative of 16, but you have a negative here, so it shall become a positive of 16. Then we have negative of 4 uh, plus 9 gives us 5, then times 1 just gives us 5. So therefore, uh, 14 uh, plus 16 plus 5 gives us 30, 35. So that is our D, that is the, uh, the general determinant. Then we now come to our DX. Our DX is found by Replacing these terms here, you replace them at the position on which x occurs. So therefore, 4, 33, and 2 will replace the 1, the 2, and also uh, the 3. So we shall have, we find the determinant of 4, 33, 2, but the terms and the elements of y and z remain. So we shall have 1, negative of 3, negative of 2, and you have 1, 4, negative of negative of 2. So you find the determinant for that. Again, take our term here, then into bracket. Um, let's just write them first in matrix form. Then we have negative 3, 4, negative 2, negative 2. Then the term here is always negative. Then uh, close the row and the column. We have 33, we have 4, we have 2, we have the negative of 2. Then we have positive of 1. Uh, this and that, losing them. So we have 3, uh, negative, uh, negative of 3, negative of 3, then you have 2, then you have a negative of, a negative of 2. So therefore, this one gives us 4 into brackets. Uh, negative 3 times negative of 2 gives us 6. Then we're supposed to subtract. Then negative of 2 times 4, that gives us a positive 8. Then negative of 1, negative of uh, 2 times 33 gives us a negative of 6. Then subtract, then we shall have 8 here. Then you have plus 1. Negative of 33 times 2, uh, negative, uh, negative of 2 times 33 gives us negative of 66. Then 2 times negative of 3 gives us negative of 6. But we're supposed to have a negative here, so it changes to be positive of, positive of 6. So we shall have. This uh, one is 4. And what? And 14. Then negative of 1. Negative slope of 74, positive of 1, uh, this one will give us negative of what? Negative of 60. So we shall have uh, 14 times uh, 4, that gives us which what? 56. Yes, 56. Then we have a negative and a negative, this one gives us 74, then subtract 60. When you add this, uh, this one gives you 17. So our dx given by what? Given by 70. Then we come to our d of y. d of y again, replace the terms that are in y with the terms 4, 33 and 2. So we shall have 1, then we have 2, then we have 3, then we shall have 4, 33 and we shall have 2 here. Then we have the terms of z remaining, 1, 4 and negative of what? Negative of 2. So we have that. So we have the negative of 2. Therefore, again, 1, the determinant here is 33, 4, 2, negative of 2, then you have negative of 4, then you shall have 2, 4, 3, negative of 2, uh, then 
lastly we have plus 1, the brackets, 2, 33, then we have 3, then we have, then we have 2. We believe the stars are correct. Now, therefore, we have 1, two brackets, this is negative 66, negative of 8, negative of 4, this times that is negative of 4, negative of 12, right? Then we have plus 1, that is 4, 4, subtract, we say that is 90, that is 99. Therefore, we have, so we have negative of 66 and negative this one gives us negative of 74, negative of 4, this and that is negative of 16, we shall have plus 1, then negative of 90, negative of 95. So in short, we shall have negative of 74, then we have a negative, we have a negative, so it becomes uh, positive, then we have our 4 times 16, which gives us 60, 64, then we have negative of 90, 95. So adding the 3, we have plus 64, then minus 95, we get the negative of 105. So that is our term D of Y. Then the last term, we have D of Z. So we are saying, where your Z is, replace it with the constant term B1, B2, and B3. So we shall have our matrix 1, 2, and 3. Then the Y remains, so we shall have 1, negative 3, negative of 2. Then at the position of Z, replace them with these terms. So we have 4, 33, and what? And 2. So we shall have, so this one gives us 1, in, uh, the determinant of negative 33, no, negative of 3, then you have 33, we have negative of 2, then you have 2 here, then you have negative of 1, close this column and the row, so you have 2, 33, you have 3, you have 2, then plus 4 there, close this and that, you have 2, negative 3, 3, and negative of what? The negative of 2. Therefore, uh, so you shall have 1, then you have 2 times negative 3, that gives us negative of 6, then 2, negative of 2 times 33 is negative of 66, but you have a negative here, so this becomes a positive of 60, a positive of 66. Then negative of 1, here we shall have 4, uh, then subtract 90, 99, then plus 4, then we shall have negative of 4, um, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, and you're supposed to have a negative here, so it becomes positive of what? Positive of 9. So negative of uh, 6 plus 66 gives you 60, so 1 in the bracket, we have 60, then negative of 1 here, then 4 minus 99 gives you negative of 90, 5, then you have plus 4, then you have what? You have negative of 4 plus uh, 9 gives us 5. So therefore we should have 60 plus 95 plus 20. So therefore 60 plus 95 plus 20 gives us uh, 170, 175. So therefore, you have now your values of D, you have your value of DX, you have your value of DY, and you have your value of DZ. So therefore, we now work out, we now work out, so drop this. We know therefore that our x is given by d of x divided by d, our y is given by d of y divided by d, then our z is given by d of z divided by d. So our x therefore, we have found our value of dx to be uh, to be 70, so it is 70, then our value of d was 35, which gives us 2. Our value of x was given by negative 105 over 35, this should be uh, going here, negative of 3, this one is our y, sorry, we shall have our value y, and we have our value z, is given by 175 divided by 35, which is giving us what? 5. And that is how you can solve any solution or any three unknowns using the grammar's rule. Thank you 